Hello everyone, this is Victor. I'm going to tell you how the unsatisfied much user interface works and how to carry on unit cell analysis today. Now let's see our problem first. Today we are going to analyze a 2D unit cell. A 2D unit cell is used to estimate long fiber kind composite which section can be considered as in this picture. There is a circle fiber in the center of the square matrix. Now let's go back to our interface and to see how to carry on the analysis. First, in, we have to build our unit cell in preprocessor. When you successfully install the ANSYS Ymarch user interface, you can see a unit cell menu here. Under the unit cell menu, there is a common unit cell, and here are four unit cell types you can choose. We choose 2D unit cell. In the 2D unit cell, we can see the first line is volume fracture. You can enter the number between 0% to 38.5%. The volume fracture means the percent of the fiber volume of the whole volume. Here the initial value is 40%. The second line is the length of square. Length of square means the length of the side of the square. And the third line is the material one. The material one indicates the fiber material. And the, the fourth line is the material two. It indicates the matrix material. The EX and the PRXY indicates the Young's modulus and the poisons ratio. Because here we consider it as an isentropic material, so we only need Young's modulus and the poisons ratio. There are two independent material properties here. The last choice is element type. You can choose plan 42 for the four nodes plan element or plan 82 A nodes plan element. If you want to find some help, you can click help here. Then the why much help will pops out. Here in this help document, you can see how to install the program and some explanation of the program. And the, there is also some example problems you can follow step by step. Now we'll go back to our analysis. Here we click OK. the 2D unit cell will automatically create it. We can go back to recheck if of our material properties is correctly defined. Here in material models, we can see our two material number one and the material number two. They are all isentropic materials. And if you want to carry on the material, the, and if the material type is orthentropic or unisentropic, you can define your material type here under elastic, orthentropic, or unisentropic. You can just enter your material properties here and carry on the analysis.
here we go to recheck if our fibers are numbered with number one so we know we'll define the corrected material properties for each element So in the center circle, you can see the number one and out of the circle, the matrix, you can see the number two. So the definition is all correct. The next step, we're going to solve the effective properties. We'll go to solution menu and click microanalysis. We have to define an analysis type first. The first choice is elastic analysis and thermal analysis. We we'll carry on an elastic analysis here. The second choice is carry on effective property analysis and recover analysis. Please note here, if you want to carry on the recover analysis, you have to carry on the effective property analysis first because it provides the data that recover analysis needed. We click OK here. Then we go back to our menu and click Solve. We solve the effective properties. The solution is done. Then the effective pro properties pops out and you can use this effective material properties to carry on your whole model analysis. Next, we are going to see how to carry on the recovery analysis. Go back to an analysis type, choose recover analysis and click OK here. The table you have to input the displacements and the gradient displacements of your unit cell. Here we just use the initial data. We click OK here. And we go back to click solve. OK. The recover analysis. can recover the inside of the unit cell. It can, dis can plot the displacements or the strengths of the unit cell. When the recover analysis is done, you can see it plot the strengths distribution inside of the unit cell. If you can remember that we just input our displacement, displacements and the gradient of, of displacements is unsymmetric. You can see here that our strength inside of the unit cell is unsymmetric too. Hope this show was helpful. Thanks for watching. Want to have a try? Please send us an email.